Welcome back to this channel. Let's delve right into the exciting world of OpenAI's GPT-4 and its groundbreaking addition of image capabilities. We address some viewer concerns regarding the inclusion of the image segment in a previous video and promise to provide further insights into this game-changing feature. To fully comprehend the significance of what we are about to discuss, it is important to understand that we will be focusing on the complete version of GPT-4, also known as GPT-4 with Bing. The initial announcement of this version took place during the GPT-4 developer livestream held on March 14, 2023. For those unfamiliar with the livestream, it offered a first-hand demonstration of GPT-4's image capabilities. While many are familiar with and utilize ChatGPT, it is crucial to recognize that the addition of image functionality was a highly anticipated and significant enhancement. Recent developments indicate that GPT-4 with images is gradually being rolled out to select users across the internet, showcasing astonishing demonstrations of its image-related capabilities. However, it is worth noting that the rollout is happening slowly, and the full version is yet to be widely available. To determine if you have access to GPT-4 with visual input, you can open your internet browser and access the Bing chat. If a specific icon is present, it indicates access to the feature. By clicking on the icon, users gain access to a text box where they can add an image by uploading it from a device or taking a photo. Let us now explore some examples of GPT-4's image capabilities and how it functions. Reddit user Ethan Mullick shared an intriguing demonstration involving an image from Reddit itself. By asking a simple question about the image, GPT-4 accurately identified the objects, including a Dragon Ball Z sticker, and provided a detailed response. This showcased GPT-4's ability to recognize and analyze not only the main objects, but also subtle details within the image. Another fascinating example involves a capture image, which is designed to distinguish humans from computer programs. GPT-4 not only identified the image as a capture, but also provided a thorough explanation of its purpose and limitations. This demonstrates the contextual understanding and higher level skills of the AI model. Additionally, user 99M9 posted various examples on Reddit showcasing Bing's visual input capabilities. These examples highlighted GPT-4's ability to recognize and describe complex images accurately. From identifying a nephron to explaining the theory behind an image or meme, GPT-4 consistently provided detailed explanations showing its potential in various fields, including medicine and education. The applications of GPT-4 with image capabilities are vast and extend beyond simple image identification. It combines image recognition with contextual understanding, leading to highly accurate and informative responses. Examples like solving a capture image or providing instructions for reducing swelling in a bruise demonstrate the potential impact of this technology in areas such as medical diagnostics and beyond. Moreover, users have been able to leverage GPT-4's image capabilities for practical purposes. One user submitted a hand-drawn mock-up of a website, took a photo of it, and witnessed GPT-4 promptly coded into a functional website. This showcases the potential for efficient prototyping and web development. As for the rollout of GPT-4 with images, it remains uncertain whether it will be introduced to ChatGPT before its integration with Bing. Given the immense user base of ChatGPT, which already exceeds 100 million daily users, careful testing and refining of the technology are necessary before a full-scale release. In conclusion, OpenAI's GPT-4 with image capabilities represents a significant advancement in AI technology. The gradual rollout of this feature demonstrates its impressive potential across various fields. While challenges and improvements lie ahead, the possibilities offered by GPT-4 with images are truly remarkable, and we look forward to witnessing its widespread availability in the future. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to stay updated on the latest AI developments, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. We'd also love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment down below and join the conversation. See you in the next video.